Hello everyone, welcome to Amy and Larry's Kitchen. Today we're going to be doing something very simple that some of you may or may not know how to do or if you can do it. We were able to go out the other day and purchase a case of apples. And since we won't be able to eat the whole case before they begin to go bad, we need to freeze some of these. So can you freeze apples? And the answer is most definitely. What you can do is get you a bowl like you see here on the table. Put about a half a gallon of water in it. Two tablespoons of concentrated lemon juice in the water. Stir it around. And then start peeling your apples like I have done here or have started already I did a couple of them and went ahead and put them in the water um, but you go ahead and peel the apples first now if you have a one of those automatic apple peelers you are way ahead of the game because it won't take you near as long and then what you're going to want to do, unless you have uh, something that will core the apple, you just want to take a cutting knife and go right along the edge of the core and cut that like that all the way around. And then throw the core away. And then you'll want to slice your apples up into smaller pieces. And as you slice them, dip them into the water with lemon juice added. What that does is it'll keep your apples from turning brown um, while you're freezing them and while they're in the freezer. Not that that really affects the taste that much. It's more for appearance sake but um, I remember when I was a kid and my mom and dad were putting up peaches they added something to the, the peach brine or whatever you want to call it that they were making and it kept them from turning brown so anyway I'm just going to finish slicing up this one apple here and we're going to put it in the water and you're supposed to wait uh, or let them uh, soak for about five minutes. The other two apples that I have already cut up and put into the liquid have probably been soaking that long. So in the interest of time, uh, I'm not going to worry about this one apple that we just um, put in there. Let me get this one a little bit better. There we go. And all you do after this is so simple, anybody can do it, is you take your bowl with your apples in it, after it's been about five minutes, you get you a uh, flat cooking sheet, cookie pan, whatever, and some uh, parchment paper, and all you do as you spread these out single file onto your baking sheet so that they basically don't bunch up together I don't know what type of apples these are they are the green skinned variety um, I do know they're great for cooking. We plan on making apple pies, apple butter, fried apples, possibly even applesauce. There's so many things you can make. Apple cobbler, you know, it's uh, the sky's the limit. It's, it's really is whatever your creativity will allow you to think up. So we're going to put these on the pan. Just like that, we're almost done. 
see if I can get the rest of these on there without bunching them up. You really don't want them to bunch up if you can help it. That way they don't clump up uh, after they're frozen. We'll do the best we can here. We got a piece or two left over. That'll be fine. All right. So what you do now, as you can see here, I've got a pan of apples that we've cut up, cored, and uh, soaked in the lemon juice. You set these in your freezer for about four to five hours until they're frozen well. Then you take them back out, and at that point, you can scoop them up and put them in your freezer bag, making sure that um, you write what they are, apples, and today's date that you put them in the freezer, because over time, uh, you may tend to forget either what's in the bag or when you put them in the bag. And that's it, really, folks. That's all there is to it. We've got a bunch more that we're going to be doing. And like I said, freezing them so that we can preserve them. So if you have any further suggestions on how to better improve this process, please let us know down in the comments below. And if you would, we'd appreciate you giving us a thumbs up, which is a like, subscribing to our channel, and uh, like I said, feel free to leave any comments down below that you can think of. Uh, it's either as far as improving this process or what we can do with the apples. Thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next video.